Hello, my loves. It's Kasha, Platonista 101. Um, today I'm filming um, a video with the advent calendar from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. If you have never heard of her, she is an amazing artist that draws all of her illustrations herself. So her deluxe um, advent calendar comes in sealed envelopes. This one is the 12 page one. She does have a floral one that is 24 um, envelopes, but I opted out for the deluxe one this year. I did both last year. So this is the one from last year. But before I show you the one from this year, I just wanted to make sure that if you have purchased the lovely um, Lux advent calendar from Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop and you want to actually do this properly and open it as you're supposed to. I think it said on the 12th or the 14th of December is when you start. I think it's the 14th. Um, so yeah, so don't watch this. I can show you the one from last year and then at that point you should stop. I'm going to make another disclaimer right before I show this. So just in case you want to stop. Um, but yeah, so I have both last year, this year. I have not used the one from last year. Like I said, Jojo is so talented and that one sold out so quick. Um, there's no way I can get these images again. So let me show you the one from last year and we'll go from there. And I'll show you the one from this year. Um, but like I said, if you want to do this properly, obviously you shouldn't be here. So, um, yeah, go away, go wait for the thing. I know I'm a huge rule breaker here and I open them way ahead of time, but I just get so excited for images from Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop. So this is last year's, this is not this year's. So this is, um, the Lux Advent Calendar from 20... 23 so this is january and it's the stunning northern lights it is absolutely beautiful um and then of course you have cozy sweaters and winter trees it is perfect i might be using these this year in my um journal i'm not sure like i always feel bad whenever i use stickers and planners that i'm not going to be um keeping so i keep my wellness and then i keep my catch-all and my journal everything else i kind of disassemble and throw out whatever i don't need so that's why it's super super sad when i use stunning stickers like this one of a kind and then i throw out so that's why i haven't used it but hopefully this year i will so this is uh, February. Look at this. This could be a little cottage or it could be a she shed. Look how adorable it is. Like, it's amazing. And then you have some books. You have a drink. Um, you have a swing, like a porch swing. It's adorable. Um, March is this a very beautiful plant and yellow combination here. So you have a window with yellow curtains. You have a yellow and navy outfit that kind of resembles the colors here. You have some plants and frames and it's just stunning. It is stunning. Then you have April. And for sure, one of my favorites here, a blue dress, um, a fresh market bag, some a stunning boot, croissants. Look at the city. Like it is just so happy when you look at it full of life. Okay, next is May, and May just screams spring with the blossoms and the birds and like the nest. Um, life is in full bloom, right? So then we have June. It is definitely like a camping trip somewhere in the woods. It is gorgeous. It's a starry night. You have um, a tent or glamp if you want to call that and there you go 
July, it is absolutely stunning lavender field. I think it's lavender, I'm not sure. But it's these purple and pink flowers that are gorgeous and even the clouds are reflecting in that color and you have full grass. Like you can see that this is um, just stunning and full of life as well. Then you have August and it's like by the sea or by the lake somewhere. It is gorgeous. You have a picnic. You have this um, kind of like navy, not navy, but I don't know, like sea little treasures. So you have the steering wheel, you have a seashell, you have an anchor. Very, very cute. Then we have September. This is one of my favorites as well. Jojo did release this year, this um, kitchen. And it is just beautiful and stunning. Um, and I love it. I think so I'm looking at it right now. She did change the look outside you guys. Oh my gosh. So it's definitely more fall. But yeah, the kitchen keeps evolving here. So I'm loving um, how this looks. It is just so stunning. And of course, birch trees, which I'm obsessed with. So absolutely gorgeous. Then we have October, which is so elegant and still a little spooky. Like, look at this, right? So I am just so impressed with her talent. And yeah, I can't wait to actually use these this year. Now we have November which is this lovely book and a book room or a book nook. It's so stunning and you have a blanket ladder, a light for the books. It is just so beautiful. And then you have December and this is the end of the last year's advent calendar. And you have this beautiful French door with um, wreaths on it and obviously some Christmas stuff hot cocoa it is so so beautiful so that was 2023 advent calendar in case you didn't get a chance to see it there it is and now um I'm gonna give you like three seconds and I'm gonna put some warnings to stop watching this if you have purchased this year's it is still available it is $55 for the 12 pages, which is actually very affordable if you think about it. These pages are uh, four and a half by seven, so they're quite large. But yeah, so five seconds. <laughs> and you guys go, unless you really want the spoiler, but if you get the spoiler, you can't complain about it, okay? Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna open the envelopes and then I'm gonna do a full flip, flip through for you guys of these. So let's do that. So this is the Lux Advent Calendar from 2024 from Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop. Again, all of her items are hand-drawn by her. It is still available. And like I said, if you're watching this, you can't be complaining that I spoiled this for you, okay? Just don't watch it. So this is January and it is absolutely stunning. So we have books and coffee. And almost like a coffee shop with snow outside. Definitely January vibes. Very, very cozy. I love the yellow and the green together. So there's that. The next is February. And it is a sewing kit type of sheet here. So you have some sewing um, things, needles, the hoops, or I'm not sure, loops, whatever they're called. As you can tell, I'm not a crocheter or sewer very much, but yeah, these are stunning. Then March is a tulip fest, you guys. It is so, so beautiful. So you have all the tulips, a romper, a flower stand, ballet flats, 
um, lots of tulips, a car with a flower stand as well. So just super, super cute. April is almost like a little planner room um, or back, like you could use the uh, school supplies as well. But you have a cup with pencils and pens and then you have um, tambos. Uh, yeah, they are such a, like, look how detailed this is. She even put the little, like, mark on it. So, yeah, gorgeous. Um, then you have May, which is Purple Fields. I don't know what these are called, but they're stunning. And you have seeds, and then you have this gorgeous element of, like, a plantation of flowers with, um... I don't even know what to call it, like a flower gazebo almost like. It is super stunning. And then you have rain boots, some raindrops. So yeah. Then you have June, which is another book. Stunning, beautiful book. Um, You can't really combine it with that one because the colors don't match. But look how stunning. And then these frames are simply, simply beautiful. So super cute i love cozy vibes like this and then july is a fishing trip by the rivers there are little docks trees um kind of like a little marina here very very beautiful and then august is about on the beach or by the beach so you have a stunning beach view with beach elements and obviously that's where I want to be because right now it's November and cold. So yeah, then we have September and this is probably the one that impressed me the most in this um, collection because look at this. So you have this bakery, right? And then you have this on the inside of the bakery and she even did the mirrored image what I would like inside if you were standing right here like next to the shelves this is what you would be seeing so it is just so detail oriented it's almost like a hidden egg here but yeah it's it's absolutely beautiful and of course the croissants and danishes and everything else is just calling my name so yep then we have October, and yet again, even though it is Halloween-y, it is so stunning and elegant. Like, look at this frame. Yes, it has a shadow, and yes, it's still stunning. And then you have um, black candles, and look how, like, decorated this home or store is. I'm not sure what it is, but it is so beautiful with the details. You have a little kitty right here. All of these pumpkins are the green, orange, and white. And then you have butternut squash, which I absolutely love. So yeah, that is such a good one too. Then you have November, which is, again, such a cozy, cozy um, sticker. So you have a hanging swing with blankets, with like a cozy couch with coffee, a pie, a sweater, more coffee, like just stunning. And then you have leaves that you can just spread throughout. And then last is the December one. So December is um, obviously Christmas. Look how realistic these peppermints that she drew. And if you guys didn't know, Jojo does make these ornaments in her shop that you can purchase every year. They are absolutely stunning. So again, if this is your first time hearing of um, Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop, welcome. I am so sorry that I spoiled this for you. If you have been here before and you have heard about Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop and you watched the spoiler and you didn't buy it and now you're regretting it, I think she has a few left. So go and um, snatch them while you can. But that's all I had for you guys today. Again, thanks for joining me. I love sharing stickers and things like that with you guys. And I can't wait to create more beautiful things. Have a good day. Bye.